Let's get more now on the couple from Lancashire and their 23-year-old daughter who have been shot dead in Pakistan in what appears to be a dispute over a marriage. Our correspondent Danny Savage joins us from the family's home in Nelson. And what kind of reaction has there been there, Danny? Well, just this afternoon, in the last uh, hour or so, there's been a uh, reaction from uh, Tanya Youssef's employers here in Nelson in Lancashire. They've described her as one of the nicest people we've ever met. She worked for a company called Liberata, who were based at a business centre here in Nelson. They did business solutions. Her manager said Tanya was a hard-working and conscientious member of the team who was always happy and one of the nicest people we have ever met. This was the family home behind us here. Until a little while ago, there was a sign on the front door asking anybody who wanted to meet up with other friends or relatives to go to a different address in the town. We do now, now, now know that in Pakistan the funerals have taken place of all three of the family who were shot there yesterday. They were shot in a, in a graveyard as they were paying their respects to relatives who died since they were last in the country. It was the result of a family feud and it appears that one of their sons was married to uh, a, a, a local woman in the area and, sh and, and they, their marriage broke down and her brothers decided to carry out these killings. Some of the gunmen have been caught. We understand others haven't. But the latest we have from Pakistan is that actually during the funeral, threats were made against the family still. Apparently one of the gunmen, who's still at large, called them and said this isn't over yet. And private security companies had to be used to, uh, to, used to make sure that everybody was safe uh, at, at, at the funeral. So uh, still ongoing events out there. But... Here in Lancashire, people very shocked, very upset about what's happened. OK, Danny, thank you. Well, um, joining us is Anita Prem, who campaigns against uh, so-called honour killings and forced marriages within British Asian communities and has set up a new charity called Freedom. Thank you very much for coming in. I know you don't like the term honour killings. No. Um, we'd, we'd explain like why. I think because there's nothing honourable about someone being murdered, killed, kidnapped, raped. There's nothing honourable about that at all. So we're using the term dishonour. And I think that's very important that the language we use reflects what we're talking about. And I don't think we need to be culturally sensitive about this. What's going on is wrong and we need to stand up and say that very clearly. Obviously there are elements of what's happened in Pakistan today which are unclear. Uh, there's talk of a family feud, clearly that would appear to be the case but we don't know the ins and outs of it. But what's your reaction to what we do know so far? I think the rea my reaction is, and Freedom's charity reaction is, unfortunately this is all too common. You know, women go abroad, people go abroad, and then they're never seen again or they never come back. I mean, this is unprecedented. I mean, our condolences go out to the family. Of course they do, and the friends. But this kind of event happens all the more often where people get forced into marriage and then are not allowed to come back, and a few develops within the family. And this whole name of dishonour, something called izzat is um, an Urdu word, which means... It, there isn't an English direct translation, but the most important thing that the family of these people that have done this horrendous murder will say the most important thing they have is their honour. Mm. That is the most important thing they have. But what's extraordinary here is that we've had such appalling levels of violence um, so far, but threats of yet more violence. Yes, and the fact is that even though the authority have caught some of the perpetrators in this horrendous crime, there are relatives as well that we un understand, and that's all very common, that they have no fear about it because, you know, there is no... They're not worried mm. about it. I mean, I used to be a member of the Metropolitan Police Authority and I led on forced marriage and dishonour-based violence, spoke to the then commissioner and the current commissioner and senior politicians, and I hope is now that we can make a difference with a new coalition government we hope that they will take this up as a matter of urgency and work with us uh, just on that making a difference I mean how much of a problem are you still t still trying to tackle within certain elements of Britain's Asian community there is a huge element of it and what we're trying to do is to raise the awareness with young people so if they are going to be taken abroad for whatever reason in the name of having a family wedding or something's going on, they know what the key signs are and what to look out for. So the book that we've written is, but it's not fair, will make that difference when we get it into every school in the UK. And hopefully the coalition government will support us in that aim. OK. Anita Prem, thank you very much indeed thank for coming in. Much. Thank you. Yes, thank you for that. Um, just to an update on some uh, news, actually. Leanne.